Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and I'm at the junkyard. If you couldn't tell, I've got a fun idea. King Bolin, who I got this scan tool from like a year ago, I use this tool every single day and they're gonna do a promotion tomorrow. So they were asking if I wanted to make a video and I thought, well, this is my most used tool I've ever gotten. So for sure, I thought it would be fun to come out here to the junkyard and to see if we can figure out why one of these vehicles ended up here. Be pretty fun to just try and see if we can find something with keys most of the vehicles out here have batteries in them so something with that that might have some codes stored so that we could try to jump start because i brought a jump pack so <coughs> i figured we might start with this one because this is my customer's old vehicle it would be super fun to see if that has the keys in it all right here's how i know that my customer's vehicle is in this junkyard a couple of days earlier i was out here looking around here's the video from that but the microphone on my phone doesn't work so i found my customer's vehicle and i'm super excited to see it i'm glad that we have a reason to be back at the junkyard and i can show you like uh two years ago i fixed i replaced these spark plugs in this truck at night all right, so unfortunately the key's not in this. Um, yeah, I know this is their vehicle because I know what was on there. The thing right here is the same thing that was on there whenever I replaced the spark plugs. That's so funny. Oh, that's awesome. What are the chances? Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna go check around all the other vehicles and see if I can find something with a key. See what I mean? This is the only junkyard I've been to that doesn't take the batteries out of the vehicles. They're worth quite a bit if you recycle them. I don't know why they wouldn't. See? See? Pretty crazy. No keys on this aisle. I'm surprised. They get all the keys. Ouch. There's an old plant in there. Thing died. My wife's never been to a junkyard, so I keep telling her I'll take her and maybe we'll make a video about the craziest things we find at junkyards. That'd be pretty fun. Oh no, look at this old little green car. I feel like this shouldn't be in a junkyard. Who's ever going to come look for a part for this? Somebody should have fixed this. Dang. This would have been cool. I don't even know what this is. University Villa 1965 parking permit. If you know what this car is, let me know. Pretty cool. All right, guys. I just walked up on this. on the, In the trunk of this car. We've got the key. Why did my voice sound so high like that? All right, we've got the key here. The battery was not removed. It's in the fender well right here. Right there's the battery. So I'm gonna hook my jump box up to it. Let's see if we got any codes because this doesn't look crashed. So let's see why it ended up here. This one's a perfect candidate. Hey, this is awesome because the two other times I've been to this junkyard was for this very engine in my customer's car. So it's like every time I come to this junkyard, one of these engines is what I work on. It's so cool. Let's see where are we hooking up that negative right here. The lights are on. That's so funny. All right, let's hook up our tool. So I'm gonna hook up the scanner here. I'll show you a screen recording. It doesn't find any fault codes, so that just leaves a few other options. Let's see what it has. All right, these engines are known for overheating. If I had to speculate, I would say it probably overheated and is seized. Let's find out though. That's it, a bad fuel pump. Brought this car to the junkyard. I can't believe a bad fuel pump is why this car is sitting in the junkyard right now. Somebody got taken advantage of because this is an old person's car. 
I can tell there's old person things in here. So that's actually really sad because this car just needed a new fuel pump. Dang. See you later, junkyard. That's why this car is in the junkyard. If you're interested in this tool, check that out. If not, I'll see you on the next episode of Roadside Rescue. Thanks again to King Bowen. Check out the description and the pinned comment for that awesome discount for today only. And I'll see you on the next episode of Roadside Rescue.